So today we're going to make a short presentation. Uh, it's a continuation of our previous presentation on reserves uh, reports and reserves definitions. Here we'll demonstrate how these reserves and resources migrate during development of a field as an example. So let's start off with uh, perspective resources categorization on this uh, on this chart here, we're seeing uh, in gray two different reservoirs that are out there with uh, no wells drilled at this point. They're exploration perspective resources. We've estimated from our seismic information and other information from our geologists, uh, pet petrophysicists, uh, data from the area, uh, a low, best, and high estimate here in our, in our perspective resource categorization. Now we're going to come in here and we're going to drill a well in the top of this reservoir. And you see that uh, the first well has hydrocarbon. Oil is represented by the green in the C1 category. All the way to the bottom of the well, we see uh, hydrocarbons. And so in our low side case, that's going to be the C1, which is the same as the, as the 1C low estimate. And we've estimated beyond that, obviously, some, some best estimate, maybe twice that size or something, uh, down to the high side estimate, which is the C3 and, and cumulatively the, C, the, the 3C estimate. Now note that there's still exploration beyond this point. The, the second uh, reservoir down here, there's nothing that's been penetrated, so it's still exploration and still prospective resources. Let's take the next step and we'll say, in this case, we've actually got a final investment decision. And AFE's been approved to develop the field. And so we have the first uh, well that we had before, basically same information, and it moves from the contingent resources up into the uh, reserves category. We would call this uh, bottom of the well down to the prove, uh, proved reserves. Again, our, our most likely case being a P50 type number is a probable uh, or 2P number. And then this would, uh, this would be the possible extension, and, but it's in the reserves category instead of the contingent resources. Again, nothing's changed in the exploration, so the prospective resources remain in the second lower sand. Now we come in and we drill a second well after we had that uh, FID. Uh, and we end up with a full well full of hydrocarbon all the way to the bottom of the well. Again, that pushes our proved reserves down farther to a, a, a deeper level uh, right here. We estimate the probable reserves a little bit deeper than they were before. And now we're saying, oh, well, we may be able to find something even deeper in the high side case with our possible reserves. But still, we haven't any new data in the exploration here on the second sand. And so that's still prospective resources. Now we drill a third well in here. We went a little bit too far, it looks like. We find uh, the well full of water, okay? So that presents a, a limit to the reservoir. We know that we've got water up to a certain point at the top of this well. That means that there's no hydrocarbons below here. And we have the lowest known hydrocarbon up here in the, in the second well that we drilled. And in between, we would have some range of probable and possible reserves to so the high side case here. Again, we still don't have anything that changed in the second sand and exploration. Thank you.